What's up, friends? Aloha. Glory. Hallelujah. From the land of Aloha, I'm here in Maui. And I want to officially say hello and say hog Pesach. Someone say hog Pesach. Amen. Let me know where you're watching from, friends. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. B. Lim is in the his house. Hog Pesach. It is the first day of Passover. And I know many of you, you may be watching from another nation, maybe from the East Coast, even in the West Coast, in the California region, the sun has set. So it is officially Passover. Come on. I want you to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall because one of your favorite prophetic voices, the man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is here in the house. Can I get an amen? Comment below where you are watching from. Today I want to talk about eight days of cleansing and miracles. Eight days of cleansing and miracles. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, friends, what God's going to do in these eight days, it's going to be mind-blowing. It's going to be monumental. <clears throat> Shaka Rabba. So continue to let me know where you are watching from. Comment below. Glory to God. I'm happy to be with you. I know, I know, I've missed all of you. I've been so busy. Our travels have been so busy that uh, I've not been able to minister online as much as I like to. But praise the Lord. I'm happy that you're here. Hag Pesach. Amen. I want you to comment Hag Pesach. Amen. Because Hag Pesach, Hag means happy celebration. And Pesach, of course. Pesach means, uh, Pesach means, uh, Passover. Amen. Shot that I'm having a trip because I'm trying to comment from my public page. Providence Yvonne, bless you. Maureen, bless you from Nashville. Believe it or not, I've never been to Tennessee, never been to Nashville in my life. Hello there, Jacqueline from Charleston. Laura says, I'm still in Illinois. It's wonderful. Well, we're going to be in Chicago in the month of June. First few days of June. Hello, Becky. Good to see you, child of the most high. Come on, friends. Help get the algorithm up. Want to give some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Because I want to talk to you about eight days of miracles and cleansing. Because you are in a shift. You are in the greatest transition of your life. And uh, if this word is making sense with you, if you connect with the man of God, I want to say, I connect. Amen. I want you to build up the room. I know the East Coast, it's the evening. And the West Coast is 6. Here in Hawaii, it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Shataraba Elsa from the Philippines. I saw Melissa Filler earlier. Hello to Christine from Phoenix. I'll be back in Phoenix area in the month of May. Good to see you, Vanessa. Glory, North Carolina in the house. Help us to break the algorithm. Let's break 150 today. Amen. Let's break 150. But people of God, this is the first day of an eight-day celebration. I want you to comment celebration. And remember, your celebration leads you to elevation. Your celebration leads you to promotion. And as you praise God in advance, for who he is and what he's about to do as you praise the name of Yahweh, of Jehovah. Then miracles, breakthroughs, blessings begin to come. And I'm telling you, friends, there's so much I want to share. And it's just bubbling up out of me. But when you begin to log in with a hunger and with honor, that begins to stir up the prophetic. That begins to pull on the mantle of the man of God. So if you're excited, come on, let's build up the algorithms and the numbers. Give us some hearts and likes and share. My goodness, I just finished eight services in five days in Hawaii. Two different islands, three cities, eight services in five days. So the Lord is good. So finally, I'm here in Maui having a little bit of rest. I mean, even today I had to do a six hour work day. So after this broadcast, I get to rest and enjoy, praise the Lord. And tomorrow I got about four hours of work at least 
or five hours as well. But I'm here in beautiful island of Maui. Aloha to you. We just did eight services in five days. The Lord is good. But today it is the first day of eight days of miracles. Eight days. I want you to come in eight days. And today begins the festivities, the feasting, the celebration of eight days of miracles. And we're going to begin to go into this because there's eight things that you can expect to happen in these eight days. There's eight prophetic things that you can expect in these eight days during these eight days of transition. Now, if you are in the middle of the greatest transition of your life, I want you to comment me because I know there's a lot of shaking going on. I mean, with uh, President Trump's indictment, with his arraignment, uh, with all the falsivity of the false allegations, accusations, and who here knows that it's going to backfire and boomerang in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And also we understand with the global currency, with the oil and with the new trades, my goodness, I feel the Lord, you know, with going on with UAE and with uh, Saudi Arabia and with Brazil, India. China, Russia. Listen, these are not hoax, my friends. These are not lies. Okay, this is happening right now in real time. And remember, all these things going on, a lot of it, it's a delusion or it is a distraction to try to cover up what's really going on. And remember, I prophesied in the name of the Lord, I prophesied that in the month of April, we're going to see a financial crash. In the month of April, I prophesied 23 prophetic words for the year 2023. And one of the words, one of the 23 prophetic words I prophesied was that in the month of April, there's going to be a great crash in the economy. And that's what the people are trying to do. They're trying to destroy U.S. strength, U.S. independence, U.S. government, U.S. economy, because they're trying to turn everything communistic and socialistic. And I'm telling you, friends, this is a season in this month of April, in this season of Passover, of Pesach. Get ready for miracles. Someone say miracles. Now, I want to begin to go into the word that the Lord began to share with me. But once again, help me to break the numbers and the algorithms, my friends. It's good to see you. Today is the first day out of eight days of miracles. Amen. Eight days. And this is the first day of Passover, and therefore we say Hag Pesach, Hag Pesach, like I said, Hag means happy or celebration, and Pesach means Passover, who here knows that you're about to pass over, you are about to cross over, and you are about to leap over your enemies, so this truly is a season of passing over, and the angel of death will not touch you by, will not touch you, it will pass you by. Uh, the spirit of death, every curse, whatever the enemy meant for evil in your life, it will not touch you and it will pass you by in the mighty name of Jesus. So continue to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Amen. Because this is an urgent broadcast. This is a prophetic broadcast. It is a breakthrough broadcast. And today is the first day of Passover. And here I am live uh, out of Maui, out of Hawaii. And I want to speak to you, I want to talk to you, amen, because we are in eight days of cleansing and miracles. Some would say eight days. Now, today I want to begin to talk about the cleansing power because there's a lot of shaking. And remember, when there's shaking, that means there's a cleansing. That means there's a purification. Whenever they're shaking, it means that God is breaking the hard ground and God is breaking the things that should not be in systems, in families, in institutions, in your life. Imagine a ground that is hard, that is stubborn. And when God begins to soften it or break it and things begin to crumble, that's how you get moist, soft fertilizer ground once again. And that's how the seed goes deep. Someone say, go deep, Pastor Ben. So we're in a season where God is breaking the fallow ground. He's breaking the ground that did not yield harvest or, or is so difficult and stubborn. And God is breaking that ground. If you're with me today, someone say breakthrough. Now today, Today is the first day of Passover, and this is a season where there's shaking and purification. Why is that? 
because this year, the Feast of Unleavened Bread coincides with the Feast of Passover. Now, Passover is eight days long. And this year, the Feast of Unleavened Bread also coincides with Passover. Now, what is the Feast of Unleavened Bread? The Feast of Unleavened Bread is when you begin to rid yourself of the leaven. You begin to cleanse yourself of all leaven, all right? This is spring cleaning time. This is a time where you rid yourselves of the Pharisees, of low level, of gossip, of compromise, of witchcraft, uh, of fake friends. This is when they're shaking and there's a breaking and there's a releasing and there's a letting go, amen. This is a time and season where you begin to examine your heart so that there will be no leaven, there will be no yeast, now, what is leaven? Leaven, of course, is a living organism that activates the bread, that activates uh, your manna or the bread of life. Now, leaven is a living organism, is like a bacteria, like fungus. It is like the mother inside of the drink of kombucha. And when you leave it, it begins to affect and it begins to infect and it begins to uh, affect the whole batch of dough. Listen, people of God, before you cross over, you need to get rid of the leaven in your house. Now, the key verse I really want to uh, uh, point out today, amen. And if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. The key verse I want to point out today in this broadcast is here in Exodus 12 and 19. Here the Bible says, for seven days, no leaven is to be found shoo, in your houses. If anyone eats what is leavened, that person will be cut off from the congregation of Israel. Whether he's a sojourner, an alien, or he's a native a, a, of the land. So this begins the day of searching your heart, your soul for any leaven. Is there any seed of the enemy? Is there any outside influence? Is there anything that I'm holding, harboring bitterness, uh, unbelief in my, in my heart, in my soul? Is there any leaven of the Pharisees? Why? Because that can cause you to be bloated. That can cause you to be heavy and to be delayed. That can cause you to be stopped in your tracks. Because why? Jesus is the unleavened bread. Jesus is the matzah. Jesus is the bread that is the bread of life, that is 100% clean, purified. There is no sin, there is no darkness in him at all. And if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. And give us some hearts and lights and let's break the 100 mark. I believe with your help today, on the first day of Passover, we can break the 200 live mark in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, if you're with me today, say amen. So today begins the Feast of Unleavened Bread and it also begins the Feast of Pesach, amen. Now for eight days, someone say eight days of miracles. Eight days of miracles. Now for eight days, there's gonna be these specific miracles. And in a few minutes, I'm gonna begin to go down a, a list of eight specific realms that God's moving in because I believe in miracles. And today begins eight days of miracles. And of course, eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. Now, just a little bit of historical context. In Israel, if you are a citizen of Israel, if you lived in the nation of Israel, then you would celebrate Passover for seven days. However, if you live outside of Israel, that land, that nation, then you celebrate for eight days. Amen. So we are in a realm of eight days of miracles. And God is saying, let no leaven be found in your house. Now what happens, okay, when you, uh, when you have leaven in your soul, it means that you're delayed. Why were the Jewish people commanded to get rid of the leaven and to eat the bread with no leaven? Why? Because it stood for acceleration. It stood for rapid miracles. Because you're going to leave Egypt in a rapid pace. You're going to leave your old season very quickly. So you have no time, come on somebody, to mix yourself with the yeast and leaven. You have no time to wait for the loaf of bread to fully bake in the oven, but you have no time.
time. So therefore, leaven slows you down. The yeast of the Pharisees, the things of the world, the unbelief, the teaching of religion, it slows you down. And the spirit of the Lord is saying, I'm cleansing you and I'm getting a rid of those things out of your life, out of your home, out of your body, because I want you to leave Egypt quickly. I'm prophesying to you. Your miracles are going to come quickly. There's going to be a shift and a quick shift, and there's going to be a gray space, and there's going to be such suddenlies and surprises that are going to take place in your life. God is saying, search your heart. Cleanse your home, cleanse your soul, begin to get rid of any low level compromise, anything that was okay and tolerated in the last season, it will not be tolerated in this season. So get rid of the leaven because you're going to leave Egypt quickly. Come on, somebody. You see, some people like to eat the leaven and the yeast and the bread because of the taste. But you know what? I don't want a temporary taste of sin, temporary satisfaction, and miss out on the movement or on the exodus, on the release. Get ready to exit Egypt. Get ready to leave this foreign land and for you to step into freedom, into jubilee, and step into the place and the realm of great promise in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive promises fulfilled, someone say, I receive it, because today, begins eight days of miracles, but also eight days of cleansing. I'm prophesying to you, God is cleansing your inner circle. God is cleansing your heart. God is cleansing your finances, your vision. Have some of you experienced some shaking? Have you experienced some warfare? Have you experienced some letting go and some cutting and some rip rafts? Have you experienced some unfortunate things? I'm here to prophesy right now, my friends, that before you leave Egypt, you must break, you must shake, you must cleanse, you must get rid of, you must let it go before you step into the promise and before you leave Egypt, you must leave it all in Egypt. You must cut all ties. You must break all ties and you must get ready because the Lord says it's going to happen quickly. I want you to write, it's going to happen quickly. Your miracles coming quickly, your breakthrough, your deliverance, your next level, your promotion. It's going to come quickly. It's happening quickly because it's time for Passover. So once again, Pesach, Passover, it coincides with the Feast on Leavened Bread. And of course, Jesus, Yeshua, he's the Matzah, he's the Motza, he is the unleavened bread. He is the one without any spot, wrinkle, blame, blemish. He's the one that we eat of in Jesus' name. Also, it stands for the pure, unblemished Passover lamb, because Jesus Yeshua is an unblemished lamb, and we must eat of his entrails, his insides, amen, even the intestines, even, even the inner organs, that's what the word of God says, because you become what you eat, so you must eat every single part of the Passover lamb, so that you could retrieve that blessing, experience that grace, so that that same grace of the unblemished, pure Pesach lamb, that same grace will become your grace. His body will become your body. By his stripes, you and I are healed. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen, and I want you to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Amen. Tag somebody, because we are in eight days of miracles. Eight days of cleansing and eight days of miracles. Even as I pins to the top, the highlight verse, the prime verse for tonight's broadcast, for this breakthrough broadcast, for seven days, no leaven is to be found in your house. If anyone eats of it, that person will be cut off from the congregation. Now, why was this important? Because when the angel of death, hear me now, when the angel of death passed by, he would see the blood of the lamb, but also you would have no leaven. Because the blood of the lamb is the outward sign of the inward transformation, of the inward cleansing, of the inward shift. 
the blood of the lamb on the outside is the outward manifestation that your insides are clean and carries no leaven, no mixture, no compromise and no sin in Jesus name. So seven days, if you're outside of Israel, eight days. So I prophesy eight days of cleansing and eight days of miracles. Now, before you receive your miracle, you're gonna experience some warfare, shaking, testing, or as I like to say, cleansing. Somebody say, wash me, Lord. I believe in these eight days of Pesach, we're gonna experience great exits, great shakings, and we're also going to experience great breakthroughs. If you believe it, say amen. Now, I wanna prophesy over you that you are in the middle of the greatest transition of your life. You are in the middle of the great transition. And always around April, Pesach, which is the new year for the government, for the nation of Israel, always around April, Pesach, we leave death and we resurrect with Jesus. We are resurrected with keys of death and Hades in your hand. Someone say, I have the keys. Somebody say, I have the powers. So death cannot hold you down and you are being raised up in a resurrection power. Somebody say amen. But always around April, hear me now, there's always a shaking in Israel. Number two, in the nations of the earth and number three, financially. And hear me now, there's always spiritual awakenings also in the month of April. Look at Azusa. Azusa began in the month of April. So April, because it's the new year, it stands for Pesach, the Passover. It, they became a new nation. This is also a month of spiritual awakening, of great revival. If you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Come on. Shakaraba, stay in the spirit, my friends. Rebe Sokaraba. So this is a month of great awakening and revival and resurrection power. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. Now, because this is such a huge month where we're leaving death and we're being resurrected, many are going to stay dead or stay in the old. Many are going to stay lukewarm and cold. They're going to remain where they are. They're going to remain in Egypt. But I prophesy, you are leaving your Egypt. Everything about you is leaving Egypt. In fact, everything about you is going to die off in Egypt and a new you will be born again as you leave and depart and get resurrected out of Egypt. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. So eight days of shaking, eight days of cleansing, eight days of deliverance, eight days of miracles. And today I want to prophesy about eight Realms of miracles that you can expect in this month. Are you ready, friends? Are you ready to receive the word of the Lord? Are you ready to receive this today? Now, give me some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Because I'm about to release eight realms of miracles. Because right now, we are in eight days of miracles and cleansing. Eight days of shaking, eight days of exposure, eight days of testing, eight days of cleansing, and eight days of miracles. If you believe it, say amen. Now, like I said earlier, whenever there is a breaking and a shaking, it means it's a cleansing for your next level. The Lord says, cleanse yourself of all leaven from Egypt because you are going to depart as a new creation. You're going to leave the grave as a new person, you went in one way, but you're going to get out another way. Come on, somebody. Joseph came into Egypt one way as one person, but eventually, uh, many years ago, 400 plus years ago, his whole lineage, his whole family, they left a certain way. You're going to go in one way and you're leaving one way. Come on, somebody. We are stepping into uh, this month of Nisan. We're stepping into this month of April one way and we're leaving and exiting a whole different way as a nation, as a multitude that's mighty and that has great powers, blessings, and inheritances out of Egypt in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe it, say amen. So I want to talk to you about eight realms of miracles. Because over these eight days of Passover, Shikaraba, 
there's going to be eight realms of miracles. Now, if you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Share the broadcast. I believe we could break the 200 algorithm today in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. Eight realms of miracles. If you're ready to receive, say amen. The first realm of miracle. Ha, ha, ha. First realm of miracle of miracles is a physical location change. Number one, there is a location change coming to you. Many of you are moving physically. Many of you are moving even to another state. Maybe you're transitioning to a new ministry, to a new job. I know a lot of people are getting let go. A lot of people, uh, they're getting uh, fired from their jobs or maybe they're resigning from them. So there is a shift, my friends, of a physical location change. Your physical location is gonna change. If you're moving, I want you to say, I'm moving. Or if you are looking for a new home or looking for a new office space or looking to move, I want to say, I'm moving. So in these eight days, hear me now, in these eight days of Pesach, of Passover, expect physical location change. You're going to leave Egypt and you're going to step into the promised land. You're leaving Egypt and you're stepping into a whole new location and a whole new journey. If that's you, say amen. Number two, the second realm of miracles or type of miracles you're going to experience in these eight days. The second is financial changes and recompense. Financial changes and recompense. If you're ready to receive, say, I receive. Number two, financial change and a recompense. What happened when the Israelites left Egypt? They did not leave empty handed, but they left Egypt with seven times over with bags of plunder. The Bible says that when you leave Egypt, ask your neighbor for a piece of gold and silver and even of purple, scarlet, and tunic. Come on, somebody. And when they left Egypt, they did not leave empty-handed. I want you to shout, I will not leave empty-handed. You are going to plunder your enemies. You are going to plunder your enemies, and you are going to take their bread. You're going to take their riches, their resources. It's called recompense. So there is a financial shift that's taking place and coming. And in these eight days, in these eight days of miracles, the second type of miracle that you can expect is financial glory. I want you to say, I receive my financial glory. I receive my financial recompense, amen. So things are gonna shift for you financially. Let me ask you, have you been in a financial hardship? Have you been experiencing some setback? Maybe you got fired. Maybe you're getting let go. Maybe you're, you're moving or leaving to another job. I'm telling you, friends, get ready for financial recompense. Number three, the third type or realm of miracle that you can expect to receive in these eight days of Passover. If you're ready to receive this, I want you to say amen. Number three is a cleansing of your inner circle. Someone say cleansing of inner circle. That's the third miracle in these eight days of Passover. Come on, friends. I don't think you're ready for this. Your inner circle is about to change. Friendships and alignments are about to shift. Partnerships are about to shift. God is releasing you from Egyptian friends and you are going to receive next level friendships, next level partnerships. In these eight days, get ready for a cleansing of your inner circle, a cleansing of those on your left and right, a cleansing of those that you call, that call you a cleansing. Get ready for new appointments, divine appointments, new friendships, new circles. There's a shaking and a cleansing of your inner circle. And do you know what? It's for the better. It's for the greater glory. It's for the harvest. Because in this month of April, in this season of Passover, Pesach, you're passing over and some people cannot pass over with you. They need to stay back or they need to go another direction as you go into the greater glory. If you believe it, say amen. Now, how many of you are experiencing a cleansing of your inner circle? Hallelujah. 
Because remember, many times, whenever you are in a new season, you must let go of certain things. And that means letting go of certain people. That means maybe some people are leaving your job, your workplace, your ministry, your life, etc., etc. I want to prophesy to you, friends. Better is coming. Greater is coming. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. So that is the third realm or type of miracle you can expect during these eight days of cleansing and miracles during Pesach, Passover. If you receive it, say amen. Now, friends, help me to break the 200 number. I believe with your help today, we can reach more people because this is a breakthrough broadcast and a spirit of prophecy is upon me and is flowing in this broadcast. Someone say amen. Now, number four, the fourth realm of miracles that God is releasing right now, it is deliverance of secret enemies. I want to say deliverance of secret enemies. There is going to be a deliverance of secret enemies that God is releasing. Okay, deliverance of secret enemies. And sometimes secret enemies, it could be somebody you thought was your friend. Maybe they're secretly gossiping or maliciously slandering you behind your back. Maybe they're actually cursing you or committing witchcraft, uh, witchcraft prayers against you, etc., etc. But also secret enemies could be lies. It could be the leaven of the Pharisees. It could be compromise. Maybe you secretly believe that you're not good enough. Maybe you secretly believe, maybe you're, you keep sabotaging yourself. There's a sabotaging spirit and you keep repeating certain things out of fear or out of a defense mechanism because you're afraid of being vulnerable or you're afraid of losing something. So therefore, there's a cycle and a habitual pattern. Come on, somebody. There's going to be deliverance of 11, a deliverance and a release, a letting go, a cleansing of any secret Pharisees and secret enemies that are in your mind, in your heart, in your family, and in your life. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. So that's the eighth realm of miracle or type of miracle you can expect in these eight days of Passover, Pesach, and deliverance. All right? Hallelujah. Shabbat. Number, number six. Excuse me. Shikha, number four, praise God. I believe we are number four, is that correct? Number four. Thank you, Lord. All right, number four, number four. The fourth miracle you will experience in these eight days, number four. It is new vision and new perspective. New vision and new perspective. I want to say new vision and new perspective. Some of you are experiencing some fear and witchcraft of Pharaoh. Some of you, that Pharaoh's spirit has been taunting you and mocking you and coming against you, and that Pharaoh's spirit is coming against you and you are bound by that lie and that manipulation. But there's a new vision. There's clarity. There's breakthrough coming to your mind and to your perspective. The Lord is going to give you new vision and he's going to give you new perspective and clarity. Many times, whenever there's confusion or there's fear or, you know, there's a lack of revelation, then that stands for witchcraft and that stands for the enemy that's colluding and bombarding and darkening your soul. But in these eight days of miracles, there's going to be fresh vision, new vision, fresh hope. There's going to be new ability to see. I want you to repeat to say, Jesus, wash my eyes and cleanse my mind in Jesus' name of any filth, anxiety, and fear. Somebody say hallelujah. It's done and it's finished, my friends. It's done and it's finished. Roko Taraba. So the Lord is giving you new vision. Are you at a Maui church this week? I'm not, unfortunately. I might, but as of now, no. Just stay, stay uh, watching. But no, there is going to be new vision, fresh vision, fresh revelation is going to come upon you. Amen. If you receive that, say amen. And that is the 
fifth miracle. Amen. Location, financial, vision, cleansing. Amen. That is the fifth miracle. Amen. I believe that was number five, correct? Somebody help me here. Hallelujah. Number six, the sixth miracle you can expect in this season, it is great victory. I want to say great victory. Listen, some of you are undergoing massive persecution. Look at Donald Trump. Look at, uh, I mean, the, these transgenders, the transgender community, a day of vengeance. Are you kidding me? The devil is a liar. Vengeance belongs to the Lord, says God. But what happened in Tennessee with the school shooting against these children and these Christians and, and these teachers, what's going on in the world? There's going to be great victory, friends. I don't care what the devil's trying to do. I don't care how strong and big and bad this wolf is acting. It's going to be done, my friends. It's going to be done. It's going to be finished. And I prophesy great victory in Jesus' name. What happened? As the Israelites were leaving, and literally millions of people with their cattle and their animals, as they were leaving Egypt, they tried to chase them down. But guess what? The Red Sea destroyed. Come on. Obliterated. Annihilated. Totally overwhelmed and overtook all of the Egyptians. Their best weapons. Their best chariots. Their best horses. Their best generals, warriors, commanders, and chiefs could does not have anything on the I'm preaching right now. Nothing can hold you down. Nothing can hold you back. Get ready for a great victory. And the Lord is about to defeat all of your enemies. All of your enemies. Jesus is about to defeat all. Death, where is your sting? Death cannot hold him down. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. The Lord is not only going to part the Red Sea, but the Red Sea will fall upon all of your enemies. Somebody say, I'm covered. Somebody say, I'm covered. The Lord is going to silence every lion, close the mouth of every Jezebel, and ding dong, the witch is dead. God is about to deal with all of these enemy spirits in the United States. Even those that are trying to conspire and conjure up false allegations against President Donald J. Trump. Get ready for a backfiring, a boomerang, and get ready for recompense because this is a season of great victory. And that is the sixth miracle you can expect in this Passover season over these eight days. If you believe it, say amen. Number seven, the seventh miracle that you can expect in these eight days of cleansing and miracles during Pesach and a feast of unleavened bread. Number seven, the seventh miracle you can expect from the Lord is divine direction. Listen, even as the Lord opened up the Red Sea, he's going to make a way for you. He is the way maker. In fact, he is the way. And I see some of you in the spirit right now, you're knocking on doors. You're knocking, you're seeking for an answer. Lord, do I go left? Do I go right? I need you to speak, Lord. I need your wisdom. Listen, if you're crying out for wisdom, for help, for direction, for answers, I want to say I am. Because the Lord is going to give you divine direction. He's going to open up doors for you. He's going to break down walls for you. He's going to lead you and he's going to give you divine direction. I'm telling you, friends, the Lord is going to say, go forward five steps, go left three steps, bam. And all of a sudden you're saved because a car accident would have happened if you did not move. There's going to be divine direction coming to the church, my friends. And I'm telling you, in this season, the spirit of the Lord is going to lead you not only out of Egypt, but the spirit of God is going to lead you to a better season, to a season of greater harvest, financial miracles, financial glory. God God is going to lead you out of Egypt because he is our perfect leader and he is the one who begins to move in a great way of the shepherd. His rod and his staff, they lead you. His rod and his staff, amen. So I prophesy that he's giving you divine direction and he's gonna make a way for you.
where there seems to be no way. If you receive that, say, I receive it. Now, friends, I'm about to share the eighth type of miracle, the eighth realm of miracles that you can expect over these eight days. Now, we just broke the 180, eight for new beginnings. So I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. And I want you to give us some hearts and likes. And let's build up the algorithm. Let's build up 200 today. Because in these eight days of Pesach, there's going to be shaking, cleansing, and also miracles. Remember, before you receive your miracle, there is a shaking or a cleansing that takes place. You must get rid of certain things in order for you to receive the greater glory. Now, if you are ready to receive the eighth type of miracle in your life, I want you to say amen. If you are ready to receive the eighth type of blessing. Number one was a physical locational change. Number two, it was a financial shift of recompense. Number three, it was the cleansing of your inner circles and friendships. Number four was the defeat and the removal of secret enemies of your soul. Number five, it was new vision, revelation, and clarity. Shoo, in the name of Jesus. Number six, it, it was the defeat of your enemies and great, great victory. Amen. Number seven, hallelujah. Number seven, praise the Lord. Shakarabata. Number seven, somebody comment below what I, what I began to speak out for number seven. Praise God. I wrote a whole list of things. And I'm going to share with you number eight, what you can expect in this season. In these eight days of miracle turnarounds. My goodness. I feel the Lord right now. Whoever wrote notes here. Hallelujah. Thank you, divine direction. Thank you, Cecilia. Number seven is divine direction. The Lord's going to lead you and make a way for you where there seems to be no way. And are you ready for number eight? The eighth miracle you can expect in these eight days of cleansing and in these eight days of passing over. Number eight, it is family encounters and salvations. Family encounters and salvations. It was one lamb per house. One lamb per household. One lamb for each family. One lamb. So every family member in the home had to eat of the lamb of God. Had to partake of the lamb. Every member of the family. Otherwise they would not pass through. But every member of the family <clears throat> had to partake of the Lamb of God. And then their body became the body of the Lord. Their body became like the Lamb. And they were able to pass through. No sickness, no infirmity, no ailment. Why do you think the Bible says when they were traveling in the wilderness for 40 years, not one of them became ill. Not one of them fell down. Not one of them became ill or fell down or they became frail and weak. It's because they partook of the body and the blood of Jesus. They partook of the Lamb of God. And I believe right now, I'm telling you friends, there's such a shift happening in the spirit realm that your family is going to experience resurrection power. Your children, your brothers and sisters, those that are far off, shoo, are going to experience resurrection power. The cleansing flow of the Lord. Get ready for family deliverances, family breakthroughs. If you receive it, say amen. These are eight days of miracles, my friends. Eight days of miracles. These are eight days of miracles, and I just released over you eight realms of miracles that you can expect over these eight days of shaking, cleansing, and of Passover. Somebody say, I'm crossing over. Now I want you to lift up your hands and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Come and activate your spirit, man. Come into agreement with the word of the Lord today. Zibarabu satarabrata. 
Rabasata, Robosata Rabata, Shata Rabande Karabrota, Sika Rabata. Come on, I want you to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Rebe Sika Rabba. Thank you, Lord. Shita Rabba. Shita Rabba. These are eight days of miracles, my friends. Jesus. Today is the first day of Passover. Hag Pesach. And I declare over you as a man of God. That there's a cleansing and a shaking. And there's a promotion and elevation. And a deliverance that's taken place. Thank you Lord. Bless your children. Come on just keep praying the Holy Ghost friends. Keep praying in your spiritual language. Give us some hearts and lights. I feel the activation of angels. I see angels going to some of your family members right now. Angels are being released and sent out right now. Shout out by God is dealing with your pharaohs. Every antagonizing warfare spirit that's been sent against you. He's touching your mind. Shit about thank you for miracle money. Miracle finances and provision, oh God. Rebes, instantly, some of you are going to get healed. Instantly, immediately, suddenly, you're going to get touched by the fire of God. Rabba seta namande dodoshata. Rebe sete rabata. Jesus. Masa tabashata rabrata. Rosso toro brosata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Here, na 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 ma 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 here, brande. Here, ma 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 hai. Come on, just thank him right now. Here, na 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 ma hai. Shayana na 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 mande. Look at the word of the Lord, Psalm 105, 37. He brought out Israel with silver and gold, and there was none among his tribes who stumbled. Other translations say, there was none among them that fell or grew weak, was frail. You will leave Egypt with silver and gold. Silver would stand for redemption. Gold would stand for perfection. And as you leave and depart and carry out the plunder of the Lord, not one of them stumbled, not one of them fell, not one of them grew frail and grew ill in the mighty name of Yeshua. If you receive it, say amen. So Lord, today on the first day of Passover, I declare over your people eight days of miracles, eight days of cleansing, and eight days of mega miracles. Passover. If you receive it today, say amen. Say, I receive it. Rabbi, now God is going to begin to cleanse you right now. He's washing you, your mind, your soul, your heart, your body. He's touching you, breaking off any soul ties, any word curses. Because as you are about to cross over and pass over, the Lord's going to do a quick work. So get your heart, your soul, your life, your household ready in Jesus' mighty name. Someone say amen. Somebody say eight days of miracles. Come on, I need you to shout hallelujah. Shout glory, hallelujah. Shika rabba tarabrata. Shika rabba si tarabrata. Shika rabba tarabrata ta. Rese tarabrata. If you received us today, I want you to say amen. And give us some hearts and likes. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, 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 na na mande, shana na 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 na. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let me know where you are watching from, my friends. Comment below. Come on, revival, fire, and glory. On this first day of Passover. First day of Pesach. Now, I will be at church this Sunday for a Resurrection Sunday service. We're going to have baptisms, have a wonderful play. Amen. And uh, even this Friday, for Good Friday, oh, it's Good Friday. We're going to do a Good Friday YouTube Live. Amen. Wow, it is Good Friday. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Grand Junction, Antelope, Huntington Beach, North Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, Ocala, Florida, Newport. Thank you, Lord. Danilo from Bronx, okay, got you. Victoria, BC, God bless you. Someone say, I'm ready for my Passover miracle. Come on, say, I'm ready for my Passover miracle. I declare right now, we are in eight days of cleansing and miracles. And get ready for great, great breakthrough and suddenlies in the greatest transition of your life. If you believe it and receive it, friends, say amen. Now, in this moment, friends, I want to open up an opportunity for you to sow a seed unto the Lord. Why don't you bless the name of the Lord and bless this ministry. Just bless God. If you've been blessed and if you agree, I want you to sow a Passover seed. And even as you sow Passover seed, I want you to comment Passover miracle. Amen. I want you to comment Passover miracle. But I want you to sow a Passover seed. And uh, I'm telling you, friends, I believe in miracles. And I believe in the power, the principle of sowing and reaping. So I want you to comment Passover miracles. We just pinned to the top the different ways for you to sow, the link tree. But I want to give you the opportunity to bless the Lord back, to bless this ministry, to agree with God that according to the word of the Lord, let it be so. Let it come to pass. Amen. Wherever you are watching from, sow a seed and comment Passover miracles so that I can call your name in agreement in Jesus' name. Amen. Jing Siduro, God bless you. Sherry Surat Bean. Ashley Castillo, God bless you. Raba Sitaraba, we are in eight days of miracles, my friends. Eight days. Cleansing, washing, miracles, breakthroughs. As you sow a seed and bless the Lord, bless this ministry, you're blessing yourself in advance. Amen. We have pinned to the top different ways for you to give. So as you sow by faith and honoring the Lord in this Passover season, I want you to comment Passover miracles. <clears throat> God bless you, Ashney, Cece, Deborah, Oliver, Paulino, Akaba, Didi, Shata, Rabasi, Tanamata, Tarablata. Ritva, Thunder, Robinson, Michael, and Deborah. Thank you, Lord. Sura Baba. Thank you, Lord. Emmy Labio. Dana Marie Clark. God bless you, Muan K. Marchetta Riley. Patricia Sanchez. Amy Valencia. Wow. Keisha Johnson. Dr. Angela. Thank you, Lord. Come on, sow in faith. If you believe in the word of God. So if you believe in this supernatural time, I want you to bless the Lord. I'm telling you, friends, this is a supernatural time. This is a miracle season. Eight days of miracles. Don't. Don't leave this broadcast without blessing the Lord in return. 
God is so good. It's all his anyways. But this is a supernatural season. Alex Ray Rivera, thank you. And also thank you for being a subscriber, my friend. Come on, friends. Keep sowing, keep giving. Into the house of the Lord, into the man of God. Vanessa de Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Which miracle do you need to happen the most in your life? Or is it all the above? Anthony Carabao, bless you, my friend. What miracle do you believe will happen? Are you believing for? Are you expecting even more? Jesus. Glory to God. CCO Favorate. Now, friends, as you're sewing, I want to make some announcements. Friday, Friday, I'm doing a YouTube Live, exclusive YouTube Live. And it's called Extreme Prophecy. Okay, it's Good Friday. But Friday, I'm doing a YouTube Live on Good Friday on Extreme Prophecy. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube page, Benlam Global, because Friday evening, I'm only gonna minister on YouTube only. And it's called Extreme Prophecy. So be on the lookout for that. And then Monday, we have a free webinar called Extreme Deliverance in line with Passover. We're gonna talk about deliverance and we're gonna believe for deliverance and freedom and lives to be changed, amen? It's gonna be wonderful, so powerful. So thank you, Terry Ann, God bless you. And yeah, both the webinar on Monday and the YouTube Live on Friday, they're both free events. So YouTube Live on Good Friday, amen? And on Monday, we're back to our Zoom and ours on Extreme Deliverance. Glory to God. Someone say fire. Somebody say hallelujah. Now, if you were blessed by today's broadcast, I want you to say amen. Now, we nearly had 200 today. But, you know, once you start uh, letting people give and sow, people start dipping out. <laughs> amen. And again, Apostle Paul says, I'm not trying to get anything from you. I'm trying to get this to you. So every time there's an opportunity to sow into a man, woman of God, and into the atmosphere of the word of the Lord, we do it. Amen. Don't dine and dash. Don't leave empty handed. It's an opportunity for you to secure and solidify with your act of worship and obedience. To even accelerate the word of the Lord, like I said, secure and solidify the word of the Lord. And if you believe in this word today of eight days of miracles and eight types of miracles, I want you to say amen. Now, friends, I can't wait to see you this Friday for a Good Friday Extreme Prophecy on YouTube Live. And Monday, glory to God, this is Dr. Ben Lim from Maui. I love you, bless you. Give us a like and a follow. Share this broadcast. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and here on Facebook. I will see you soon, my friends. God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Hag Pesach. Happy Passover. Get ready to pass over and to cross over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Cecile, my website is bendhamglobal.com. And usually I will have more of uh, our team on, but I think it's service time at our church. That's why. Amen. Well, bless you, friends. Love you. Hag Pesach.